Hey, it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. I want to talk to you about female psychopathic traits, specifically that of callousness and lack of uh, empathy and a lack of feeling towards people in general, very contemptuous, inconsiderate, and tactless. So, in terms of a lack of empathy, yes, this is a very characteristic, uh, basically cardinal virtue or cardinal attribute that we see assigned to the uh, psychopathic and the narcissistic behavior traits. We've been discussing that for some time, and if you're new to exploring this, you need to understand that there is essentially a physiological basis which literally means they're missing equipment that would provide them the ability to empathize with people. To empathize with people means I understand your feelings, I understand what you're going through. You tell me it was a rough day at your work, I get it. You tell me that this person was a nuisance, I get it. I, I can relate to your feelings, I understand your feelings, I have a connection there, a bond, and you basically feel acknowledged, heard, I relate to what you're going through. It's not foreign to me. I can, I can pick up on it. I, I can relate. I, I get it. Um, a psychopath, they, they have no capacity at all for empathy. They're, they lack the ability to have empathy or consideration for people. And this, this uh, really creates a sort of callousness, inconsiderate side to them. And that, especially from the female standpoint, um, and you're, you're mixing this with a very sort of impulsive person who is prone to being bored and indulges in risky behavior. If you've encountered this type of person in either a familial, which means uh, a family, you know, a family relationship, a sister, or in a workplace, it is very distressful, very stressing, and how they act out and how they uh, basically manifest this trait uh, will vary from situation to situ situation and person to person. However, their callousness and lack of empathy will play out in a number of different, basically jaw-dropping ways in the, in the way that they're able to transcend boundaries of morality and commit acts of fraud, acts of deceit, um, serving to strive to uh, destroy an entire family smear people's reputation, uh, assign sort of uh, erroneous attributes to people, claiming that they're, uh, critical, they're, um, they're criminal or they're mentally ill, uh, making up lies about people. Uh, very, very typical behavior of a female psychopath. Um, of course, you know, the men, uh, the male psychopath does this as well. Uh, usually we see a lot of this played out in some of the more violent and aggressive physical sort of realm and they will also engage in that sev you know same heavy lying but the the females tend to be also quite a bit impulsive and show extreme disregard in terms of um, their haughty behavior arrogant behavior and have a huge capacity to do tremendous amounts of evil in terms of uh, lying, what they call pathological lying, which means not just, yes, I took a cookie from the cookie jar, but actually lying under oath, um, lying on documents, lying on records, um, lying on bank statements, um, lying to family members, meaning siphoning off money, um, uh, fraudulent check writing, um, stealing of other people's accounts, accessing their information, just essentially really transcending bounds that are, are conducted in a very callous, inconsiderate, criminal way. And I say criminal because oftentimes the psychopath will break laws that are, are very clearly written and they will go beyond these uh, sort of designations in order to access information or get power, control, manipulate, uh, take money, um, smear people, their campaign, uh, basically uh, rep 
smear their reputation, create blackmailing against them, um, email people, uh, erroneous information behind their back, uh, start telling up stories, making up stories about them. It really knows no end, and it can be quite vicious and uh, vindicative. Uh, and, um, you know, oftentimes these people have been plagued by early behavioral problems as well. So a lot of this, if you see kind of a very cold side to a female, um, this could definitely indicate some psychopathic traits that you might want to become aware of and alert to so that you're not victimized. Begin keeping documentation if you find yourself in the midst of this sort of embroiled battle um, with these types of people. Um, retain the help of legal professionals. Um, find out the jurisdiction in your area and the, the rules that basically govern um, a lot of their behaviors um, that surround their, uh, their, their actions because Oftentimes, you do need to bring in legal sanctions in order to stop uh, these sort of tactics from ruining people, ruining people's lives, their reputation, their finances, etc. So definitely take it upon yourself to enlist professional help if you find yourself uh, embroiled with a female psychopath who is very callous and considerate and taking... Uh, difficult measures against people, especially close ones in their life. Peace and harmony with you here today. I hope these videos help. Please share, please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussions, and support.